Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world. This is not my Minecraft world. This is FTOG. Qantas, goodness. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? We are hanging out. I haven't done much since last episode, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I did get set up over here. So I've been messing quite a bit with some of the Tinkerer's stuff. Um, all those big multi-block structures that we had before and uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with how this can actually work so what I've been doing is I've been smelting down one ore at a time to fill this up um, and this is basically just for making tools right so in here I've got a bunch of different molten stuff we can put more in here if we need to but I've got gold copper iron and down here I just have some aluminum brass for making all the different molds that we're gonna need but um, on this guy, I set this up, I put a hopper duct here because if you put a hopper feeding into the controller, you can't access the controller. Even though you can see it kind of around the corner, but the hitbox on the hopper duct is so much smaller. So I just put one of those dudes, and this is one of the ones that opened up with the new iron era. So we can put all our ores in there, it feeds into the hopper, which feeds into the hopper duct, which feeds into the controller. And then, check this out. This is handy, huh? We have a vanilla style redstone clock. And that will just like melt everything or get this to activate and dump everything into the casting table or uh, what is I thought that was a casting basin this is a table oh it says casting table too interesting yeah this is a casting basin which is what I have over here so I've been making a bunch of iron I've just been processing all my iron because I know that we're probably gonna end up using a bunch of that for Basically, whatever. Um, now that iron is free from Nan's iron farm, we really don't need iron, but we have it just in case. So I just wanted to process everything that I had so far. And uh, once we get the gold farm up and going, too, we can, uh, you know, we won't have to worry about gold anytime soon. So I don't know. I don't know when that project is getting started. I think Thor said he was in charge of that, but I would not mind helping. I think it sounds kind of cool. But um, we can go ahead and throw that there and let's put the casting table with the ingot cast back on here and we'll just let this guy do his thing so throw that there that there and then once this stuff smelts this redstone clock is going to activate that and it's just going to go about its business which is awesome so um this talk about this this thing right here this is a new thing from tinker's construct i guess it was added the same time as the tinker tank here this is really really cool this is the seared furnace it runs off of lava and you can build it pretty much as big as you want and it smelts a ton of different things all at once so with all this cobblestone check this out I can throw that all in there and it's gonna smelt this stack of 16 at a time so it's gonna burn through all that cobblestone make it smooth stone in pretty much no time which is awesome but I do wonder why this one is going faster than all the other ones this one and this one it's kind of strange <laughs> I don't know but really really neat and I think you could probably pull well I'd say you can pull stuff out of here but I'm not exactly sure which block it would be from probably this the furnace controller but I don't know we don't really need to automate that too much so but yeah, so today we're going to be taking a look at our first tinker tool together and then I'm going to go back and build the rest of everything I want to do. So right now we're just going to make a tinker's pickaxe. And for that we're going to need these three molds here. And I think that we should be all set. So for the tool rod, I think I've decided to go with copper. And let me show you why. Because there's quite... Does it show us in here? Or do we have to look at... Uh, Tool materials. Oh, maybe it's the bronze. I can't remember if it's... Uh... No, I think it is copper. Let's see. Let's go back to copper. Well established. You gain additional XP. So, for everything that we mine, it's basically just going to throw off XP. So, I figure that's probably pretty handy. And I think... I'm not sure if the mending moss works the same way as mending does as your normal vanilla enchantment, but I just kind of figure XP is not a bad thing to have a bunch of, and so that's what we're going with for that. And then for the head, we will be doing, whoops, uh, just plain iron for now, 
and we can upgrade it a little bit later on because we're going to need to go to the nether and mine some cobalt and ardite and all that other stuff so we can get the different materials there. So we got this and now I think for I think for the binding um oh, let's see. I don't really know what we should go with for the binding. I was thinking maybe obsidian to bump up the durability of everything. That's mandolin, night slime. I thought there was more. Does it not show you? I guess maybe it doesn't show you. The magma slime, what's the durability on that? So basically you just want to kind of come through here and look at all the different durability. So Ardite I think has got the highest durability. Looks like it. And steel is not bad. Electrum. Can we even make Electrum? Oh, I guess we can for immersive engineering. I thought that was a thermal expansion thing. Constantan. That's got really low durability. Yeah, so there's just so many different things that you can play around with this. And uh, slime has got a thousand durability. Ooh slimy now the problem with this is I don't mind oh it doesn't look like we can actually make a binding out of this or does that matter I don't know the problem with the slimy is when you use it it randomly spawns slimes and it's really annoying <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's what we want to do sponge Tool is soft and squeaky. It gained a silk touch but deals no damage. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can use a sponge there. Yeah, so I don't know. There's just so many different things we can choose from here. Wow, obsidian is actually pretty. Oh, I've been looking at the wrong one. I've been looking at the head. So let me play around with this for a minute. Let me figure out what I want to use and we'll come back and put it together. Okay, so here's what we went with. I have got an iron head, a copper tool rod, and a paper binding. I tried a couple of different bindings here. We got the copper binding, and then we also have an iron binding. Now, the copper had the most durability. It added about 100 more durability to this, so I think it was about like 390-something. And uh, it's not bad. And this one only adds 50 extra durability, so it wasn't, I think it was about like 15... 20 points more than what this one is um, so this has got a durability of 260 but I went with the paper binding because it adds the extra modifier on it and we can actually add something that does um, I think that it doubles the durability or something like that I'm not exactly sure I have to remember what exactly we're gonna do here but it's actually pretty good it's not too slow which is you know pretty good for what I was hoping for it's about the speed of an unenchanted diamond pick which I like, but it, you can see it also gives us the XP from just mining random blocks, which is cool. So we could always use the XP. Um, but one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to up the mining level of this. So you can see the mining level is only diamond, but over here I have some obsidian. And we can take this guy, put this up here, and then we can dump it into this tank here. And you can see it's starting to fill up here. And we are going to make an obsidian sharpening kit and that is this thing right here and that ups the mining level to cobalt which is going to be pretty handy uh, so let's go ahead and put that there and we can make this guy here I think it only takes two blocks let's see so we should have oh it only takes one block of obsidian that's cool but now we should be able to throw that on here with our pickaxe like so No worky? What's going on here? Combined. Oh, combined with a flint. Okay, so we need a piece of flint. I've never done one of these uh, sharpening kits before, so I'm not exactly sure how they work. I know we have some flint. There we go. So, can we just do this in our crafting grid? No. Okay. Let's go back to the tool forge and see. 
E, where'd you go? There it is. How about now? Okay. Oh, and it, okay. And it keeps the extra modifier. I thought it was going to take a modifier. That's not bad though. Okay, so we'll do that. So now we can actually mine cobalt to make my other tools, which is cool. Cobalt and Ardite. Um, but now we have four modifiers remaining. So let's see about upping the durability on this. And I think if we put a diamond on there or an emerald, I can't remember which one does which. I think the diamond gives us plus 500 durability and then the emerald gives us 50% durability. So... Yeah, so that looks like it adds 500 durability to that. And then if we do this, 50% would probably be like, what, 100 and 130? Yeah. Okay, so we definitely want to put the diamond on there for now. And that did take up one of the modifiers, so we only have three modifiers left. And I think we could put an obsidian plate on there. Let's see. Um, plate. I've got this thing over here. Where? I think it's in this chest. Yeah, the blank casts, the uses for this. A reinforced modifier. So, let's see. Reinforced modifier. Here it is. We're going to have to take a look in the book, though. Modifiers. I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. Adding an obsidian plate to a tool seems to something with its durability making it stronger. Adds a chance to not consume durability. Okay, so we need eight pieces of obsidian, which I do not have. Okay. Alright, so I did some tinkering around with this. We got silk touch on it. And then I also up the speed, I guess, to Haster, <laughs> which is as high as it goes right now. So we have a mining speed of 16.28, which is not bad, I don't think. But let's go try it out now. So we saw the comparison of it earlier. Oh yeah, that's much better. And we can go even faster too if we need to. So that is not a bad deal, man. I'm not going to lie. And I think it is, is it a diamond and a gold block to give it another modifier? Because I'd like to put Mending Moss on here if I could. And I don't have any diamonds. We're going to have to mine some. Uh, put that there and then we'll grab our fortune pick from in here. Fortune 3. I got so much junk in my inventory right now, man. It's crazy. Alright, so give me... Three? Ooh, we got four out of that. That's not bad. So, I'll take you, and then we need some more gold. Dang it. I don't think I have any extra gold. Hmm. I think we'll probably just leave it for now. I think it probably also tells us in the book. Modifier. Adding a diamond to the edge makes it resilient, increases the tool. Okay, so there's that. That is fortified. Okay, so I guess that's just using the sharpening kits. Reinforced. Oh, if we had a nether star, we could do soul bound. That wouldn't be too bad. I think that's one of the tools I am going to make as a cleaver, so we can actually get uh, wither skeleton skulls. Because now we have, where is the beheading one? Yeah, so we can, now we have the Enderman farm, whatever. Ender pearls are no problem, and then also obsidian. We just gotta mine it. So I think we could probably just make like a a beheading cleaver with 100% beheading. So every time we kill a wither skeleton, we get a skull. So that could be useful too. What are you doing in here? Get out of here! Go on, shoo, scram! Get out! Get on! Get on out here! Get on out here! Go on! Stupid cats, man. <laughs> They're all over the place. Um, yeah, so 
We've got our pickaxe now, so I guess what I'm going to do is we are going to venture into the nether. I'm going to go grab some cobalt and ardite because we can use that for a few different things. Um, I'd like to make a hammer out of cobalt just so we can up the speed. Or maybe ardite because I think ardite has the highest durability. Mm, I think. And I'd like to make a sword out of manulin because I think it has the highest attack something like that those three materials do three different things so um, we'll have to just play around with it for a little bit so let me go grab some of that stuff and probably I'll go really I think I go ahead and make up the rest of my tools and then I'll just come back and show you what we got okay so this should be the last tool right here we're making the lumber axe and let's see do we have everything I think think that we do and this one actually turned out really well okay so we got a high durability for the lumber axe I'm not too worried about the speed because it chopped down a whole tree at one go so I don't mind it being a little bit slow we still have three modifiers which we could reinforce uh, reinforce it to add more durability if we wanted to so I think that's pretty good Probably would have been a lot slower if I wouldn't have put the cobalt plate on there. So um, let's go over real quick what I've made. Pretty much everything is made out of an iron head, right? So it's easy to repair. We've got unlimited iron. Um, I don't have to worry about smelting up more ardite or cobalt or so, anything like that. The only one that's different is my sword. I have a manulin sword blade. Um, the reason for that is because it ups the attack damage. So you can see from a vanilla vanilla diamond sword we have an attack damage of 7 and this one has a 10.72 so it's a little bit higher and we can even modify this later on by adding quartz to it which I think we're going to do um, and then there's a couple of different enchants that I want to add to some of the tools I think the only one really oh I forgot to make the cleaver I'll make that a little bit later on but I want to add the glowing modifier to our hammer so it's easy for mining we don't have to keep laying down torches and I think that is about it. I do want to bo boost the durability on our diamond or our shovel here. So we'll throw a diamond on there and that will give us 6.5 and that raised it from what? 200 to like 700 something. So that's pretty good. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between let's go grab another diamond. Do I have one in my bag? I do. A difference between the diamond and the emerald so if we put our hammer in here you can see the hammer has a durability of 1502 um, if I throw the diamond on here it boosts it quite a bit so it's up to 2000 now so it's plus 500 durability but if I put the emerald on here which is 50% of the durability it goes up to 2200 five or 2253 so that is a huge difference and I think I think I think I might add it to the hammer just so we have it and it's uh, <laughs> it lasts a little bit longer because I know it's not going to last for a really long time when you do like a bunch of mining, but I think for the most part it should be okay. So do I have any ender pearls? I don't think I do. We may have to go grab some ender pearls and uh, do I have glowstone? I think I have glowstone somewhere. Uh, I've got a little bit, but I do have some actual glowstone. So let me go grab a couple of ender pearls real quick. Actually, we'll just head over to the end. I want to show you guys. Or I actually want to go check out the, uh, the end farm that Grok and Thor made. So we'll head over there and check that out real quick. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, not exactly sure how this thing works. It kind of looks like the ender ender, but I don't think that's the one that they went with. I think they used the endermite thing where the endermen get attracted to the endermite and then they fall or something like that I'm not sure how this works somebody said they died trying to do this so <laughs> I'm kind of afraid I don't have a pumpkin so I'm just gonna snag uh, let's see one more stack of pearls and I think that should actually do one more so we have 64 ender pearls and we will throw this one back in there like that and we should be all set to go what are these things ender tier let's see what are the uses for this it's an evil craft thing we can make a gas tier out of a promise of tennis tennessee tenacity <laughs> I can't read I don't know what that is so we're gonna leave that for now oh, gosh that scared me can we run off of here no we can't 
All right, that, so that's a good deal. But all right, we got our ender pearls, so we should be all set now. All right, well, we got the ender pearls, but I forgot that we needed blaze rods, and Thor was nice enough to lend me one. Um, so you guys saw a little bit of his place in the last episode when we did the dragon fight, but this is his tavern, man, and it is insanely gorgeous. Like, this is unreal. <laughs> and he said he did this in like two, what was it, two days, two hours or something like that? I don't know. There's no way I, I could do this. This is like a month worth of work probably for me. <laughs> There's so much detail. Everything is so cool. He's got like his fish up there. He's got all these little different bits on the mantle. And I think it was Techno that made these little mugs and stuff like that. I have one up in my base. I need to bring down here and put down on the counter. Uh, but he's got all his little food bits and stuff back here. The kitchen. And oh, these are chiseling bits. Cabinets too. I thought those were real cabinets, man. Um, but let's see if we can find his blaze rods in here somewhere. Mob drops, maybe? Molten cores. I don't know where they would be. Nether stuff, maybe? Do I see nether stuff? Maybe he doesn't have any blaze rods because I'm not seeing anything in here. He said I could borrow one, but I'm, maybe he doesn't know that he doesn't have any either. <laughs> so maybe we need to make a trip to the nether real quick and go grab some because we do have all those dudes like right on the outside of the uh, the portal so it shouldn't be too difficult to get one and I do have my looting sword on us so we should be able to get at least a couple this way so let's go do that real quick and then we can do our enchants or modifier things okay so we should have everything we need we needed one of these guys whoops doing that wrong um, so it's like that and then we need some glowstone so let's go grab that I think we need two pieces so we'll grab these two and then we'll grab another block just in case I need more but I think we only needed two um, so if we put those together with the ender pearl it should give us or actually we need to do it inside here so I have ender and then this guy here like so and that gives us the glowing modifier on our hammer which is really cool so we got that now and that's going to basically place these glow ball things um, let's see if I can show you an example here we take this guy out and should be dark enough back here so if I pull my hammer out standing right here it should place a glow ball right on the floor yeah so you can just barely see this little white outline and uh, it basically places a torch for the cost of I think one durability or something like that so it's a really really nice trade-off which I like um, because when you mine you can basically just mine straight out this way and you don't have to worry about the light levels for uh, mobs to be spawning like behind you or on you or anything like that so really really useful and handy um, I did make the mistake of putting it on my sword last time and I didn't like that because <laughs> while it sounds good in theory it's it's not really practical because you need to start laying down glow balls everywhere you go with your sword drawn and stuff like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and keep it just on my hammer for now um, because I know that I'll just be using my hammer for mining not so much like you know killing things or <laughs> I'm not gonna have it in my hand all the time so we will leave it just on the hammer for now and I think now I'd like to put oh, where to go there it is, quartz. Quartz and redstone. That's not going to work. That's chiseled redstone. So let's grab these blocks of redstone here. The cool thing about the new Tinker Sword is you see, you see that little bar in the middle of my screen indicating that my sword is ready to attack again? We can speed that up with Tinker's Construct by throwing redstone on our sword. So that's something that I would like to do and we've got three modifiers so first off I'm going to throw a bunch of quartz on it and then we'll add a modifier to it to get the oh wow that just tore through all that quartz but now we're up to almost 14 attack damage which is cool so that is pretty handy and then I think it's a diamond Oh, that gives it more durability, which we don't really need because it's already 1,500, and I can't see myself really burning through that much there. So let's throw a block of gold and a diamond on it, and I think that should give us another modifier. No? 
can we not add modifiers this time around or maybe I'm just doing it wrong maybe it's a block of diamond uh, let's go back modifiers Oh, oh can we not add modifiers maybe we can't um okay <laughs> uh, I thought that we could do that maybe we can't anymore well either way I guess that's fine what's the uh... it's about normal speed for a normal sword so that's okay now we can actually come down here let's go test this real quick I need to clear out my inventory a little bit here let me do that real quick hmm well that kind of is a bummer man um, I just asked the guys to double check and they said that yeah you can't do that he said that there's like things that you can add to it that will add modifiers which I assume are kinda like the paper thing um, so if you build it out of paper then you get the additional modifier I'm gonna add on oh, okay never mind not this pack so that kind of makes sense I guess but it's kind of a bummer that they would get rid of that so I probably shouldn't have put straight <laughs> quartz on here because it would have been nice to use the redstone to get like a little bit faster attack speed but I guess it's not that big of a deal so um, I was said we were gonna go try that out but I want to save it so I can use looting <laughs> and get all the uh, all the different meat for my pizzas but I think that we are pretty good to go so let's go I want to show you guys the lumber axe and I want to go see how fast actually let's do the redstone on this guy here I forgot to do that so we'll throw some redstone on the hammer and I guess on our other tools as well if the hammer doesn't suck up all all the uh, the redstone itself so we'll throw that on there we only have one modifier left on here and it looks like that was it so yeah we got haste so how how fast is the speed now so almost almost five and a half that's not terrible and then on here we've got three modifiers we'll throw redstone on there also and that bumps it up from 3.15 to 5.26 so that's actually pretty good and then we can do that again for our last modifier which I guess I should probably yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put redstone on this completely because it's already got really good durability and it's only iron so that's pretty good and we'll do the same thing for our thingamajig here the excavator so that bumped it up to 6.75 so I'm interested to try that out and see how fast that actually is and this one I should probably put a diamond on our hatchet since I know that we're probably gonna end up be using this one quite a bit and throw that on there and that gives it 1200 durability so that's actually really good and then we can throw the rest with just redstone like so so that's a 17 oh wow it can go even more what am I doing now what what is it doing nothing <laughs> but you can just still put it in there how many modifiers do I have left on it nothing okay I didn't think so and then I guess we'll do the same thing with our shovel I already put a diamond on that one so we can just go ahead and do well, it looks like we need, wow we just burned through all that redstone that's okay though because redstone is like one of those things that we have a ton of in comparison to everything else so that'll be fine um, we'll grab that I think it's only about 50 more that we needed and we should have some pretty decent tools after this I'm actually kind of excited now none of which we will be able to put soul bond soul bound on but that's fine <laughs> we can always make more tools later on so I want these to be kinda like our work tools and then we'll probably set up some more like really good tools later on so we'll kinda we'll kinda go from there so we'll see but uh, let's head over to the mining world real quick and we will try some of this stuff out uh, looks like somebody else has got some glow balls too
I see them all over the place here <laughs> and there. All right, so I forgot to bring some bone meal with us, but we've got our watering can, so hopefully that works. If we water these guys, we should get a tall two by two tree, hopefully, maybe one day. There we go. Okay, so now with our lumber axe, we should be able to just, wow, that was actually really quick. <laughs> that was awesome. I wasn't expecting it to be that fast, but that was actually pretty good. So let's do another one real quick. And are we going to have enough water in here? I think we should, but yeah, I was not expecting it to be that quick. That was cool. So gathering wood and stuff like that is going to be no problem at like at all now. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is insane. All right, so just like that, we've already got uh, how much how much of this stuff do we actually have? Let's pick up everything here. A lot of sticks. So over almost 3 stacks of wood. That is awesome. Uh, it's probably even faster too on some of these smaller trees. A little bit. <laughs> that is really cool. We could wreck a whole forest in no time. So, I am happy with our lumber axe there. And plus we also get the XP from it too, um, which is cool. So now we can head into the mines and try out our hammer. <laughs> Look at the mini-map here. This is awesome. So all the different branch mines that people have done. Um, let's go up here and we'll branch off this way and see if we can find anything. So we need to go the opposite direction for quite a ways it looks like. But I think we should be... I don't think it's that far. Looks like somebody else has been testing out their hammer here. Using a hammer for mining is going to be so much better than a pickaxe because for one, it makes things go by a lot faster. And two, it opens up a lot more area. I always think that these are diamonds. I see, I run by them all the time, but they're not diamonds. Okay, so we'll just go about right here. Yeah, that is awesome. One of the things that I wish that I would have put on our hammer is silk touch. Only reason being is so if we come across like diamonds and stuff like that, we don't automatically hammer them on accident. Uh, let's use our excavator here. We'll see how fast that guy is. Oh, that's actually pretty quick, too. Oh, that makes things nice. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So I don't normally use the excavator just because it is hard to, like... For, for mining, it's fine, but I've never really used it for, like, digging in the overworld or just having it as a normal shovel because it takes way too long. Uh, your inventory just kind of fills up with all kinds of random junk like it is right now. Gravel. Oh, I should, probably should have kept the gravel. Sticks can go. We got plenty of sticks. We don't need any of that. So we should be all set. But as you can see, when I mine, basically it just lays down glow balls as we go. And it keeps the, the uh, spawnable spaces up to where they need to be. So nothing can spawn behind us, which is really really handy and I'm glad that we have that available to us so let's continue on here so you guys can see it light up should light up like right now yeah there we go and so just like look how fast we can mine this is insane and the durability looks like it's holding up pretty well and again all it takes to repair it is iron so super cheap to repair and we can <laughs> We can basically just get everything that we're ever going to need. So that is really cool. I said I wasn't going to do a Tinker's Tool episode last episode. I said I was going to make all these things off camera, but we ended up making them all um, just because it was a little bit different than how I did it before. I think the last time I played with Tinker's Construct, um, it was 110.2. Oh, no. What are you? Uh, let's get our bow out. What is shooting me? What is that thing? I have no idea what that thing was. It was giving us blindness, though. Um, it was 110.2. It was over on the Emerald Enclave server playing the Hermit Pack. And 
there was some really cool stuff over there, but I, I know a little bit more about it now. So I just wanted to show you kind of what I did and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I should go over each of the different parts for um, each of the tools. So most of them are the same. So they're all iron heads, right? So no matter what tool you're looking at here, it's all iron except for the sword. And then on all the tools, <clears throat> I did copper tool rods. So whether they're heavy tool rods or just normal tool rods, they're all copper. And then the plate on the hammer, I did cobalt. And then, oh, what's the other one? It looks like it has ardite on it too. So maybe I did ardite for something on here. So you got like, oh, it was the binding. We needed a binding for the, uh, the lumber axe. And then also we needed a binding for the hatchet which I did it looks like I did binding for everything or ardite for uh, for the binding on everything so it looks like that's what it is so iron head copper tool rod and cobalt plates I think and then ardite bindings so if you try to copy it in your own world and stuff like that that should be pretty much all my exact tools and it seems to be working out pretty well for me which I am excited about so hopefully you get some use out of them but I am going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button for me down below subscribe if you haven't already go check out everybody else on the server man there's links to everybody's channel I mean that's like I'm giving you hours of free enjoyment by watching these guys so make sure you go do that go check them out subscribe like their videos and do all that kind of fun stuff and uh, tell them I sent you about that and I will see you guys next time alright thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today really appreciate it and thanks so much for watching I will see you next time